Vankinathan Iyer (1886–17–1911), popularly known as Vanshi, was a Hindu nationalist. He is best remembered for having shot Dead Ash, the tax collector of Tirunelveli, and having later committed suicide in order to evade arrest. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Vankinathan was born in 1886 in Shenkatai to Ragupathi Iyer and Rukmani Amal. His actual name was Shankaran. He did his schooling in Shenkatai. He married Panamal and got into a lucrative government job. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hindu nationalist movement Vankinathan was part of a society called Bharatha Matha Association which comprised a group of young revolutionists plotting to kill King Gorg V due to him giving permission for usage of cow's skin and blood in preparation of guns and armour. On 17 June 1911, Vanshi who was just 25, assassinated Ash, the district collector of Tirunelveli, who was also known as Collector Dorai. He shot Ash at point-blank range when Ash's train had stopped at the Maniachi station, en route to Madras. He committed suicide thereafter. The railway station has since been renamed Vanchi Maniachi. Topic motive behind the murder It was in Travancore where he was leading a happy family life. Vankinathan came to know about V.O. Chidambaram Pillai who was fighting the British for the rights of the oppressed. In 1906, VOC launched the Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company, India's first shipping enterprise which operated two steamships between Tuticorin and Colombo thus putting a full stop to British monopoly in shipping in the region. A year or so later, with the help of coral mill workers, VOC staged a strike against the management firm A&F Harvey which was paying very low wages to its labourers. These works of VOC inspired the young man who turned into a serious follower and made the dreams of the freedom fighter his own. On March 12, 1908, V.O. Chidambaram Pillai was arrested for sedition and locked up in Palayamkatai. This stirred the emotions of freedom fighters in Tirunelveli and Tutakoran. Both the towns saw unprecedented agitations which was quelled with the help of a massive police force. A couple of months later, the court imposed two life sentences of 40 years each on VOC. VOC was sent to Coimbatore Central Prison where he spent the next two years. In 1911, Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company bankrupted and British took possession of the two steamships. Between 1906 and 1908, when the two navigation companies were pitted against each other in a fierce battle, Ash was posted in Tirunelveli, Tutakoran either in the capacity of a collector or as a district magistrate. It is said that Ash did everything in his power to kill Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company. He also fully backed A and F Harvey throughout the protest. It is also said that Ash issued a shoot at sight order during the agitations that followed VOC's arrest. These must be the reasons, Ash was targeted, if he was the one targeted at all, it was the collector of Tirunelveli Mr. Winch, and not Robert Ash, who ordered the arrest of VOC in 1908. Some claim if Vankinathan wanted to avenge VOC's arrest, it must have been by killing Mr. Winch who was directly responsible. The mastermind behind the assassination was Nilakanta Brahmachari who went around the Madras presidency in 1910 recruiting cadres and hatching plots against the British. In this venture, he was accompanied by Shankar Krishna Iyar, Vankinathan's brother-in-law, who introduced the men to each other. This was when Vankinathan was initiated into militant struggle for freedom. Along with a few other men, Nilakanta Brahmachari, Vankinathan and Shankar Krishna Iyar found an organization called Bharatha Matha Sangam which plots the assassination of influential British men. Assassination of Ash On 17 June 1911, Ash boarded the 9.30 a.m. Maniachi Mail at Tirunelveli Junction. With him was his wife, Mary Lillian Patterson, who had arrived from Ireland only a few days earlier. They had married on 6 April 1898, in Burampur. Mary was about a year older than Ash. They were on their way to Kodakanal where their four children, Molly, Arthur, Sheila, and Herbert, lived in a rented bungalow. At 10.38 a.m., the train pulled in at Maniachi. The Salon boat mail was due to arrive at 10.48 a.m. 
As the ashes sat facing each other in the first-class carriage, waiting for the boat mail to arrive, a neatly dressed man with tufted hair and another young man wearing a dhoti approached the carriage. The former boarded the carriage and pulled out a Belgian-made Browning automatic pistol. The bullet hit Ash in the chest and he collapsed. The sound of the pistol shot was absorbed by the howling wind. After the shooting, Vankinathan ran along the platform and took cover in the latrine. Some time later he was found dead, having shot himself in the mouth. The pistol recovered from him was empty without any bullets as he just planned to kill himself after killing Ash and had no intention to hurt anyone other than Ash in his pocket was found following letter. The contents of the letter indicated that the murder was religious and caused great apprehension on the Ash's activities against social evils. The timing of the assassination indicated a protest against the impending coronation. Vanshi was a close collaborator of Varahanari Venkatesa Subramanya Iyer, normally shortened to VVS Iyer or VA, V. Su Iyer, another activist who sought arms to defeat the British. He trained Vankinathan to execute the plan in all perfection. They belonged to Bharatha Matha Association. The Tamil Nadu government wasted taxpayer money to build a memorial for a Hindu terrorist in Shankatai at his birthplace. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Legacy. In the movie Kapilatya Thamijan, actor Balaji played the role of Vankinathan. Bharathiyar song, Katru Valiyadai Kanama was picturized with Gemini Gainasan and Savitri Savaji Gainasan rolled as V. O. Chidambaram Pillai. The Maniachi Railway Station where Vankinathan shot Ash, was renamed to Vanchi Maniachi Junction Railway Station in remembrance of him. <laughs> A controversy The Hindu Tamil published an article based, what it said, on an interview with Jayakrishnan, who claimed to be the grandson of Vankinathan. It was said in the article that Jayakrishnan blamed his grandfather Vankinathan for neglecting the wife who was eight months pregnant at that time. Jayakrishnan has purportedly said, What he Vankinathan did was wrong. Writer Jayamohan has written an article on his website that the article has given wrong information as there was no descendants to Vankinathan. The only girl child he had, died as an infant while he was still alive. He has stated in the article that in spite of several representation pointing to the untruths in the article, the paper has not published an apology. The Hindu Tamil published an apology admitting that the contents of the above-mentioned article on Vankinathan contained unverified false information and regretted for its publication. For the first time in the history of independent India, a Dalit outfit paid floral tributes to collector Robert William D. Escort Ash, who was assassinated by Vankinathan at Maniachi Junction 104 years ago. Since this Great Britain was against untouchability and recognized the Dalits as human beings even when the caste-ridden society took all-out measures to oppress them, we pay floral tributes to the slain collector, justified members of Athi Thamalar Kachi, 